I'm actually an Israeli immigrant. Oh, and wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family lives there and everything. And the other day I was walking through the encampment and I made the mistake of answering my mom's phone call oh, no. in Hebrew. And they came up to me with hammers and kafiyas and they were like, get out of here or we'll murder you, right? Well, end your life, all of this. They're like this close to my face, right? With the hammers and everything. And I told both the dean and UWPD and they were like, oh, their faces are covered. You can't identify them. So we can't do anything, right? So like, what would you do in my position as a Israeli person that doesn't feel safe on my campus where I pay tuition? Yeah, um, it's a great question. Uh, I would learn how to defend yourself. Life is tough. Yeah. And I appreciate you going to the police. They're not going to protect you. I appreciate you going to the president. They're not going to protect you. It's hunting season for Jews in this country right now, and that's a sick thing. We'll defend you, mm -hmm. but Jews are open for targeting right now from the Arab radical left. And so take a UFC course, put on 15 pounds of muscle, carry bear, bear spray, and next time they get in your face, say, what would you say to me? Yeah. Like, and that's what I would do because no one's going to come and defend you right now. They have all the support of the administration. They have all the support of the police. And by the way, if you don't feel safe on campus, that's a tragedy. But, you know, you need to then get tougher and you need to kind of fight through it. And look, your people are very tough. You've been through a lot, but it's a sad state of affairs that that's what America's come to.